dimension element. First of all, we're going to go to our task, mo.design cat standards, and general, general annotation, and I'm going to select the one that says dimension small. That way it loads up my correct dimension styles that we need to have set up here at MoDOT. So I'll select it first. And by default, it actually automatically goes to the element dimensioning tool. To get to the actual tool in the toolbar, you can go to the main MoDOT toolbar and go over your dimension tools. And it's actually the first one, dimension element. That's the one that we're going to go over now. Inside here, of course, it loads up the correct dimension style since we selected it from the CAD standards. We have some different options that we can do whenever we place that dimension though. Um, if we leave all these preset to the way we have it right now, what you would do is come out here and select the element that you want to dimension. And it even says it down here in your status bar. Pull that out just a little bit. It says select element to dimension. So I'll select it. Now decide where you want to place it at, whether it's above or below that particular element. I'll place it above, left click, and that element is dimension. So two left clicks. First one, identify the object. Second one, identify where you want to place it at. Now if I pan over, I'll go to the next one, dimension element. There's a couple different options that we can do here. You have your alignment where it's set to view which is going to be just set to the view right now so if I select this element you'll notice that whenever I try to dimension it whether I go above or below it left or right it's going to do it with the view at 90 degree angles with that element that you're selecting if you change that to true it'll actually give you the true dimension of that element so now if I try to dimension it you'll notice that it's going along that element it's giving the true length of it and if I want to place it, I'll let left click to place it, and I have that dimension out there. So that's the difference between view and true. Drawing will go with the drawing rotation that you have out there. This other one, and this other one we're not going to worry about. And you'll notice whenever you do change it from the default, like this one here is set to true now, you'll see it's in blue. That's just mean it's deviating from the dimension style that is preset. Another one that you have is your location. By default it's set to automatic. If you want to change that to semi-auto or manual you can do that. Just to kind of show you what that does is if you select the element come out here to place it whether it's above or below it. Now you'll have the option to determine where you want to place that text at. So if you have some other geometry that's kind of flowing through there you can actually move that text before you drop it off. So I'll left click to place that text and now it's dimension to that spot right there. You can always come after the fact and move that text using your modify tool, but this will allow you to do it whenever you're using the dimension tool. I'm going to go ahead and change those back. But then you also have a bunch of other options down below here, that whether you want a start extension, an end extension, um, prefix text, suffix text, a bunch of different options that you can do underneath there depending on how you want to place the text and also how you want to place that dimension because there may be certain times where you don't need a start extension or an end extension so if I turn those two off try to place it you know you won't see the extension lines and there are certain times where you may not need those so that's pretty much the element dimensioning tool with the lines and that's that first option right here that says dimension element I'm going to do a couple undo's the next option that you do have though is the label line and what this will do is allow you to label the line if that's the kind of dimension that you want to do so if I select the line move it left to right up or down along that line you'll see that it's going to dimension along that line just like what I have right there you can change your your label line options there's a bunch of different options that you can do length angle, angle length, just length above, angle below. Multiple options depending on how you want to label it. The last one we're not going to worry about. Um, we don't use that one quite often. We don't use that one too often here at MoDOT. But the good thing about the element dimensioning tool is it actually knows kind of what element that you select and it'll determine what tools that you need. 
The first two that we did there were just simple simple lines. So it's going to use those tools for dimensioning that line. But if you have an arc, if I change this back to dimension element, and I select this circle or this arc, my tools here should change. So if I select that circle, you'll notice now that my, that my set of tools have changed. It gives me three different options to dimension that arc or that circle using the element dimensioning tool. You have it by dimension radius, dimension diameter extended leader, or dimension diameter parallel. So pretty much the, with the, the way the icon looks is the way it's going to dimension. But then you also have a bunch of different other options down below here if you want to put in a diameter for the suffix or if you want to change this to diameter. A um, bunch of different stuff that you can do whenever you place that dimension. So you can kind of play with those or play around with those depending on your needs for your dimensioning that you do. So let's go over the first one which is dimension radius. And you'll notice as I pull it out, you'll see it's being dimensioned on that circle, and it's going to give you the radius of it. Left click to drop it off, and I'm done. Or if I do it to this arc, I'll left click on the arc, determine where I want to place that dimension at, left click to drop it off, and I'm finished. Second one is dimension diameter. If I select this one this time, you'll notice that it's going to dimension it accordingly. I could do it to this one, but it's going to make it really large, so I'm not going to worry about that. So that's the dimension diameter extended leader. And then last but not least, you have the one that says parallel. So if I select it, it does give me some other options depending on how I want to place that dimension. And now I can place it either to the left side or right side, up or down, depending on where I want to place that. So those are the three options that you have for dimensioning a radius or a circle. So using the element dimension tools, depending on which one that you select, whether it's a line or an arc or a circle, those variables will change accordingly. And then also you have these other options down below there. Depending on what tool that you have selected will determine what options that you have here to either toggle on or to toggle off, depending on what your need is for your dimensioning. So that's the element dimensioning tool.